Hello, welcome to Mental Health Awareness Week. I didn't think we could really let it go by without saying something about it, as cancer and mental health are hugely intertwined. Quite often this will be a time where people may not have been through a cancer journey before themselves, or maybe not have even known somebody that has had cancer. So it can be really difficult for not just the person with cancer, but also their carers. And I don't think we should forget about those people either. Um, there's a huge amount of stigma attached to mental health that people feel that they need to be able to cope with everything that's going on and to be able to continue to run their jobs or their work or their family life um, as normal. But being aware of your mental health and accessing the right services at the right time can really help. So I just wanted to go through um, five top tips for helping with your mental health. Um, and the first one would be to ask for help. Asking for help is a really difficult thing to do sometimes, but something that can make a huge amount of difference because you'll be able to explain to people that you're struggling a little bit, that you need a little bit more help, or maybe a bit of advice or guidance or some simple strategies um, to help you cope a little bit better. So speak to your health professionals or speak to your family and friends and get the guidance that you require. The second thing would be to accept help. Accepting help, likewise, is a really difficult thing to do for some people. Some people find it very difficult to accept help. But quite often during a cancer diagnosis, you will be given lots of practical in, um, support from people and being offered lots of practical support. So just let people try and help you. Let them do something small for you. And with that comes companionship quite frequently. So that will make a difference to you as well. And the more you accept, the more people will be around you to be able to give. So it's important. The third thing would be um, to access support groups because there's nothing better than somebody that's been through something similar to you. You can get advice, you can get tips, you can get strategies that people, that are real people that you know, have used and have been of benefit to them. And so it gives you different things to try and it also makes you feel less on your own. The fourth thing for me would be to um, get out and about. So maybe get outdoors, get some fresh air if you can. Do the things that you enjoy. So it might just be having a coffee with somebody one morning or um, going for a walk with friends. And finally, the fifth thing would be to just be kind to yourself and accept that what you're going through is normal and that you are allowed to feel as you do. And as that is absolutely acceptable. Um, some days you'll have good days, some days you'll have bad days, but on the bad days you know who to contact and what you can do to make yourself feel a little bit better. I hope you found this useful.